Goats are smaller, more affordable, and easier livestock to manage than cattle for many Virginia producers, and some goats <laughs> seem to have individual personalities that can make them feel like part of the family. They make relatively good pets. People raise bottle kids and they make great companions. They're more like a dog than, than, than lambs, for, for example. Their personalities are really crazy and they all have different personalities. Some of them will come out as sweet and nice and calm as you can imagine and then others will come out buck wild. Farmers and researchers alike say a growing interest in raising goats stems from the growing ethnic markets for goat meat in the U.S. There were almost 49,000 goats on 3,500 Virginia farms in 2017, 125 more farms than five years earlier. Outside of the United States, goat meat is the largest consumed meat in the world. It is catching up in popularity in the United States with the ethnicity diversity changing in our country. So it's a good thing for a goat farmer because uh, it raises value and uh, it gets more people interested in actually goats. Goat milk is a popular alternative drink for some consumers. It's also the base for a number of processed products like cheese, soaps, and skincare products. And a few producers have started their own goat landscaping business to help property owners clear difficult brush without machines or chemicals. Those goats will come through and there'll be nothing left from as high as they can reach down to the ground. It's green. They'll do poison ivy or thistles or anything like that. It's like candy. And as you can see on social media, some people are even doing yoga with goats. So goats are very useful animals. But what are the drawbacks to owning goats? First, while goats love to forage for plants, they require a special diet. And they don't just eat anything. The misconception of the old cartoons to where you see goats up eating car seats and tin cans and all this stuff, that's, that's not so. Goats really, we always joke that a goat could stump its toe and fall over dead. So it's not like they're rugged and can eat anything. Some breeds of goats are very susceptible to parasites and owners need to know the warning signs of this problem. Vilboy says encouraging the animals to graze higher than six inches will help prevent some parasite problems. That's usually not a problem for a goat. They climb, they jump on propane tanks, and they go through and cross fences. They climb us a little bit, so they're a lot more agile than most of the other forms of livestock that you have. Fencing is important, not only to keep the goats in, but also to keep predators out. Having guard dogs is also a good strategy against predators. Goats are also a popular choice for youth livestock programs. High school student Summer Kuntz has been working with her father to care for goats most of her life. She's learned valuable life lessons through the Culpeper County 4-H program. Oh my gosh, I've learned so much. I've learned about responsibility and commitment and, you know, I've learned so many things that kind of wants to get me into my career of being a veterinarian when I get older. It may be tempting to buy a few baby goats to start your own herd. But like any livestock operation, it pays to have a business plan first. You really have to start at the tail end of the business and see how are you going to market your animal. What's, what customer group are you targeting? Are you going to go to the ethnic market? And, and what ethnic market are you going to go to? Do not put the cart before the horse, which so many of us usually do. You end up buying a couple goats and you bring them home and you're not ready with your pens or whatever type of shelter you're going to have for them. Make sure that you can be committed and that you have the time to take care of them and it's not something that you'll just throw in your backyard and say, oh, it'll be fine. Because they actually, they need so much work. The good news is if you're a new goat owner and have questions, there's help available. The goat community does seem to be very willing to share information and they're very polite. You hardly ever run across anybody that, uh, that isn't willing to share their story with you. You can also find other goat owners through social media or by contacting your county extension office. And professionals like Dr. Vildois conduct research on goat production and marketing at Virginia State University. In Culpeper County, Virginia, this is Barry Ridgway reporting.